Hey folks, Jonathan here. Uh, waiting on some steel. I can't pick it up till Monday. This is Saturday morning, and I figured I'd uh, do a little work on this bike. Go ahead and do some pressure washing, and uh, I think we're going to take this side of the case off and replace the uh, shaft for the kickstart and the seal. And I've got them parts used, and put a uh, put a new kickstarter on it. That weld, I don't, you know, I've seen that a lot and I just don't like it. So we're going to take care of that problem. And like I said, we've got to build the carburetor. And uh, front tire, I've got a tire for it. I think we're going to put a tube in it. Uh, it leaks down over time. And uh, we'll get that done. I've got a new seat and a new uh, foam. i got a tail light and i got a new exhaust pipe. It leaks bad up here and it's rusted out completely up here. And uh, just so you know, I bought this bike uh, at an auction a little while back and, you know, paid a little more than I wanted to for it. But this motorcycle actually had a title with it. And uh, these things are hard to find with the titles. And I was actually buying it from the original owner. And she got it when she was a kid. And she got a helmet with it, which I'll try to show you before I get done with the video. But... Uh, it's blue. It matches the bike and and just a small kid's helmet and uh, She got uh, the repair manual for it the service manual, so I've got it too and uh, this thing is uh, Built 7 of 71 But the title says it's a 72 and if you check the VIN numbers they match the bike so uh, you know for anybody that has a, what they think is a 71, you know, it could be a 72 on paper anyway. But uh, we're going to go ahead and clean this thing up a little bit and pressure wash it and uh, try to get it ready to start working on. Okay, folks, we got the uh, got the bike pressure washed. It's pretty clean. looks a lot better than I thought it was going to, actually. And, uh, you know, we've just got a lot of little rust issues. A lot of the stuff will clean up. Uh, the handlebars, I think, are probably beyond cleaning. And uh, they've been bent and bent back. I think all of them end up getting bent where kids wreck them. But I'll see if I've got a better set. If not, we'll just clean these up. Uh, you know, it's not going to be perfect. It's not a not a big deal. We're not shooting for perfect. We just want it to, to look pretty decent. And uh, I think I'll replace the cable for the throttle. It's revving, not wanting to go back to idle and looking at this cable. You know, it looks like a dog was chewed on it, so... We'll go ahead and get one of them and uh, new rubber for the uh, shifter, new rubber for the uh, kickstart. I don't know if I can get this rubber without replacing the whole cable or not for the back brake. We'll see. Uh, new shock rubbers. The other side's cracked. This one's weather cracked. And you can see that tire. That was the reason I wanted to change it. I, I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not, but there's a lot of weather cracking all the way around it. I've got a really nice tire, and actually the tire I have, the tread matches this back one. And uh, well, the tread might have matched that one at one time, but it's wore down. So, uh, and hopefully we can get, you know, the, the fender cleaned up and stuff, but we're just going to do a cosmetic restoration here. Or not even really a restoration, just a good cleanup. And I did notice uh, while pressure washing it that uh, the uh, chain guard on this side, well, the actual magneto cover or flywheel cover has got a broken spot in it and uh the chain probably come off one time and so i will uh i'll replace that i've got extra parts for that and the chain guard is missing i don't know if i've got one or not i'll have to look uh one good thing this thing had a pa uh, pedal on one side for the back but the other side is missing so i'd like to get another set on there and uh because believe it or not you know i'm 200 pounds and my wife's just around 100 so uh it'll actually carry both of us around no problem and uh and you never know you know they're fun to ride uh they're like little tractors they've got good good bottom end power but uh gear ratio helps that out so uh like i said i'm gonna break it down and, and redo the wheels clean the wheels and stuff so i'll probably put tubes in front and back and like i said replace that tire so all right, I will uh, go ahead and get some parts ordered and uh, show you more. Okay, folks, since uh, we're just doing a sort of a visual restoration on this thing, we're not doing a you know big tear down or anything like that. 
I figured I'd go ahead and get started on a few little things here. And uh, the seat, of course, being the main thing because I've got the I've got the stuff here. And uh, I'm not sure if a dog done that or what. This was sitting in a barn and uh, had been sitting in the barn for a lot of years. And it sure looks a lot better since we pressure washed it. I'm really, I'm impressed with the way it looks. But, uh, you know, it's a pretty clean old bike. It's not bad. And uh, I'm sure there was a few people there at the auction that, you know, wasn't familiar with Trail 70s and, and thought that I was crazy for paying what I paid. But, uh, and I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you, I give $725 for it. But, uh, like I said, the reason that I bought this, uh, I've got five or six other ones. And they all need work and, you know, a couple are just parts. But uh, the reason I bought this is because it had a title. And we like to go camping sometimes. And if you go to campgrounds, especially, you know, the state, the ones that are, are on state parks and stuff, uh, you know, you can't ride a lot of stuff around. But with having a title for this, we can actually title it and tag it just like it would be if... Uh, you know, if it was a regular vehicle. So, uh, you know, they, they sort of sort of throws out the rules with, uh, you know, having a little mini bike riding it around. And I'm not talking about riding it, you know, on trails and stuff. I'm talking about actually riding it on the road. You know, if you want to go down to the uh, to the lake or something like that, it's, it's just nice to have. And, uh, you know, four-wheelers and stuff like that, of course, they frown on real quick. So, uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, if it's tagged, there's a... Uh, and insured there's really not not a thing they could do so uh, so that's why you know one of the reasons I wanted it and plus if you look at eBay what they sell sell for uh, you know that's that price is really not out of line at all and especially once we get all this cosmetic stuff taken care of but uh, here's our new seat cover and uh, we're getting ready to uh, put new foam and new seat cover on I got the one with the Honda in the back you know I wanted it to to look you know pretty original anyway of course this one looks like it's got a little different uh, uh, texture to it there on the on it I don't know I'm assuming for sure I would think that was original I don't know there's no Honda on the back so this could have gotten torn up you know years before and and uh, you know they might have put it on it because I don't like I said I don't see the Honda on it so this is this could be a reproduction you can see the plastic where there was plastic on the seat so they this whole whole seat could be a reproduction for all I know. I really don't know, but uh, but it, the pan's in good shape, so we're going to use it. We'll go ahead and uh, get it off and get that apart. And uh, while I'm at it, I want to go ahead and show you the helmet. Uh, like I said, the, this was bought brand new, and I bought it from the original owner. But uh, I guess the the lady's dad had bought it for her, and uh, she kept it, and you know for all them years. And there's the uh, the original helmet kids helmet that came with it and uh, it folds down and goes over your ears and you know it's not it's not really usable but it you know it's a neat old helmet and I figured I'd clean it up and you know don't exactly match the bike for the collar but you know it's uh, it's blue so we'll clean it up and keep it with the bike anyway and uh, you know it's an original to it so you know it may not be a Honda or you know something they would have given with it but uh but it was definitely bought at the same time according to what uh what she told me so uh but anyway let's get to work on this thing and uh we'll see if we can get this seat done Okay, I, uh, I read the directions of what they want you to do on the seat cover, and, uh, and you know, they made the seat cover, so they should know better than me. Uh, but they, what they want you to do is actually bend these, these little clips out, uh, or these little tabs out, uh, 45 degrees. So we'll go through and clean everything off of it and, and go ahead and get them all bent out. And I'll show you what she looks like. Okay, folks, here's where we're at. Uh, this thing had a piece of uh, sort of like corner edge molding all the way around it and on the bottom side of this pan and that was so it didn't rip the uh the cover and there was a big piece of it missing on our 
pan so I went and found another one uh, this come off an old uh, seat pan that was no good it's all rusted away so uh, it's in good shape so we'll, we've got a little bit of work to do we're gonna go ahead and, and wire brush all this and probably put a little bit of paint on it and then uh, we've got a little bit of a bend on each side and a little bit of a crack on each side and uh, we may weld, weld it up straighten it out a little bit uh, not sure what happened there but that shouldn't be bent in it should be should be straight through there on both sides actually but we'll go ahead and uh, we'll get that taken care of and uh, get this thing ready to put back together okay folks I've cleaned it up uh, wire brushed it got everything off all the rust off and I just painted it with some uh, with some green that's all I had I didn't have any black but none of this will be able to be seen once it's on the bike so uh, I just wanted to get something on it to help protect it. So uh, we'll let this dry a little while, and then we're gonna we're gonna start trying to stretch that seat over. But I think we're gonna have a fun time. All right. Okay, we've got it all together here, laid out. Uh, they said to, to actually put this into a like a trash bag or something, but I left it in the original bag. We'll fold it up under. But they they say so the, uh, the seat cover will slide on the foam a lot easier and better. And uh, so we'll see how that works out, but. Anyway, it's going to be fun. I think I've got to step down on this and start stretching and pulling. So I'll see if I can get it here. All right. Coming along a little easier than I thought it would. I said to do the front first and work to the back. That way you can center the, uh, the Honda up. Now I centered the seam up in the front, directly in the center, so hopefully it's going to look all right. Don't look too bad so far. We'll keep at it. That's all of them. We'll go back and push them and bend them down, but good and tight. Looks straight. Honda's in the center. I like it. Turned out really good. All right, we'll finish this thing up and uh, we'll stick it back on there. Okay, folks, that uh, that was much easier than I expected it was going to be. Uh, I guess the main thing is just get it good and straight, make sure your pan's good. Uh, worked out really good. Uh, things gonna things gonna be nice. A little bit of a crease right here, but that was where the uh, where it had been sitting in the in the box for a long time and stuff so that'll probably straighten out with no problem but uh and as for the plastic i don't know i may go in there and maybe break the plastic in these holes so when you sit on it it don't you know it's got to have somewhere for the air to leak out of it and uh i just went in with a hammer and bent all the tabs over really good and uh it'll work real good uh, now, I think we'll go ahead and uh, pull this exhaust pipe off and go ahead and change it out because uh, it's really not going to be in the way of uh, doing anything else, taking the cover or anything off, so we'll go ahead and get it replaced uh, while we're waiting on I ordered a gasket, ordered a seal, and then we're going to, like I said, change out that kickstart. And I've got new rubber coming. We won't be using this one anyway because it's been welded, but... Uh, I'm going to put new rubber on it and uh, new throttle cable coming, new shock rubber, uh, new grips, uh, the tube for the front, we're going to change the tire 
And I, the only thing I forgot was actually the rear sprocket. I really need to count the teeth on it and go ahead and get it ordered. And uh, I think that's about it. It don't need a lot. You know, we'll build that carburetor and uh, it runs pretty good. But, you know, stuff like this where it's, uh, where it's pitted to chrome pitted, you know, there's really not much I can do with it. But, you know, we're just going to clean it up make it look decent. We, you know, we plan on riding it. We don't plan on uh, just parking it somewhere and letting it sit forever. So let me get on this muffler and go ahead and get it changed out and we uh, maybe we'll fire it up. All right. Okay, folks, trying to figure out, decide what to do here. As you can see, this old muffler is just rusted away. Uh, we've got this one, and uh, it's got a, one little spot, really, that uh, I need to do some repair on before I put it on there. But I think it'll work out. But here's my issue. This pipe's smaller. I had a different style cover on it. I don't have the cover. Uh, this pipe's just a little bit bigger. I'm not real worried about that, but uh, it's got the, the chrome on it here. So I'm actually debating to cut this, slide this one in, weld it up, and then, you know, the cover will cover over top of that. I think I'm going to be better off to do that. And uh, I don't like, you know, as rusty as can be, but, you know, it's a lot smaller. It's a different bend. It's a, it's, this one's got a, a sharp bend here this one has got a long bend now this is off of one that was made uh, January of 71 and this one was made July of 1971 and you know who's to say that they did somebody didn't actually just change it themselves but uh, I think that's what I'll do maybe I'll cut it and slide it in and weld it up and uh, you know, it's it's never going to be 100% original anyway, but uh, but we've got to do something about that because it's just uh, it's just too far gone. So, and uh, the only leak that we had was here back. You know, there's nothing up here that's in bad shape. Everything looks to be pretty good. So uh, I think we'll just work with that from there. All right, let me get her done, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, folks, we're done with this part. Uh, Waiting on, we're going to have to wait on some other parts now. I did clean it up a little bit, the fender and polished You polished it just a little bit, but, uh, but the exhaust is on, seat's done, and uh, we've just got the, the Kickstarter and front tire and a few other things to do. We'll do them in the next video, and we'll be finished with this thing. Uh, went ahead, I had a whole set of 1975 plates. It's not the right ones. It's not the right year. I like to put the same year plate on as the as the vehicle, but... I don't have any 71 model tags. So. And we got our tail light on. Uh, got to clean the sticker off the top of it, but it's on there. And it's actually a new bulb in it. Uh, it worked before, but I kind of, it didn't have a lens, but it had a bulb in it. And I sort of crashed it and broke the bulb. So uh, brought it over backwards. I'm, I'm never too old to learn how to mess up with more and more. So uh, I'm going to take it for a little ride here and then. Uh, we're going to put it up until we get our parts. All right. Appreciate everybody watching. Till next time. Bye.